Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Absent Darkness here, and welcome back to Dead Space. At long frickin' last, I'm back to playing this game. Now, I gotta say, the reason why it's been a while is because, uh, well, college, basically. It has been taking up so much of my time, but now I'm free for a while. So, we're back for some more Dead Space. And... We're just gonna start that up. What is this? Okay, so we need the thermite bomb. Uh, I gotta get reacquainted with the controls. So we are completely out of ammo in the uh, pulse rifle. Plasma cutter, we still have quite a bit. And we also got the thermite. So now, let me see here. Okay, so we gotta head in there. But first, I can't remember. Does the steward have any... Uh, post rounds. Anyone? It does not. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna head in here. What the fuck? Oh, now it gets dark. Really? Better pull out the plasma. Plasma cutter. Hello. Oh dear. Buddy. Buddy. That's a lot of damage. Wow. First survivor we see this episode, and he just absolutely uh, suicides. Pulse rounds. Hallelujah. It ain't much, but it'll do. Crap. What is this? Power node. Yes. Text log. Okay, let's read this. Interesting results. Medical log. Dr. Warwick B. Chief Psych Officer. Report of psychiatric observation. Patient Harris B. Employee number PM19026. EH. Hmm. Harris is asleep after another strong sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after 50 plus hours of waking, regardless of any desire to stay awake. Not Harris. His explanation of events on the colony is also odd and points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planet side. His guilt is not in doubt. Two plant site security officers were present when he took Dr. Silara Silaro hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. And he doesn't deny his actions, but he insists there was no crime, nor does he feel guilt. <coughs> this is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about the murder, however, it becomes withdrawn in intrasigent, I think. Displaying schizophrenic behavior, he also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again, similar to those experienced by other colonists. Harris claims that he threatened the doctor because he had to stop the dreams and the faces, that he'll kill again to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. A most intriguing case. Ah. So, I already know what that- Ooh! Alright. Uh, pulse rifle. Yes. How many- <coughs> We can't even make any upgrades. Luckily, however, I was able to open this up. Sacrifice my only power node for that. Audio log. You found something down there, didn't you? Yes. We found something. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. She'll turn voice down. 
People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe. Do you believe, Terrence? Do you? Okay, so that's a new character. And sounds like the guy that was... Can I talk for more than three point eight seconds? As I was trying to say, a guy sounds like the uh, one we heard trying to talk to us in the last episode. No! Spray and pray is my. Oh jeez. Uh, great, I have eight bullets in my thing. Okay, I got it. Let me go around here. Just give me that. Pulsar! Oh, holla freaking Luya. Also, I know that there's a guy. Is gonna show up. There he is. Now shut up. Now I think we head up here, right? Yep. Okay. Up she doozy. Freaking serious? Ugh, you stupid idiots. Can these people stop vibrating? Who continues to vibrate? Stop it. Stop vibrating. Stop vibrating. Stop it! Uh, yeet. Uh, yeet. Hmm. Okay. First vacuum section. Yep, I got it. Thank you. That's how many seconds of air we've got left. More plasma stuff. Air can. Nice. Useful. Highly useful. Hello there. Pulse rounds. Extremely useful, especially in my case, where I pretty much... What the f Okay. As you know, the Ishimura is able to set its gravity locally. Your grav boost will kick in when you enter a zero G area. Sounds good. Okay. Zero G jump and control. Yeah. There we are. Let me just uh, yeet on over here. Credits here. You can always use those. Those are always useful. And we got the shock pad. Great. You got a shock pad. Nope. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. No. Nope. I can hear more coming. Moving through the fence. Stay safe, Isaac. Yep, we'll do, Hammond. Oh boy. Entering zero gravity. Freaking eight leapers. Most annoying enemy in the entire game. I hear ya. Shut up. I don't care. I'm out of here. See you later. Goodbye. Farewell. Das Vidania. Sayonara. Hey! You little. <laughs> that works. That is quite the blood spray. Oh, I remember this. Yep, these friggin' swarm. Get off me. Ah, whoa, wait, hey, 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 where are you? Where are you? Get off of me! Ah! Ah! Get 
that it? We done? Okay, I think we're done. Where's the store? Yes. I got some ammo I need to buy. There we go. I spent all of my money on on pulse rounds, because as well. I need some of that. Okay. It's here. That works out quite nicely. Into the mouth. Nice. Okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. Yep. What is this? Video log. It's playing. This Nicole. is senior medical officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. Get him to the table. Hold him. Nurse, you hold him down. And record him. Jeez. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. I certainly hope so. Okay. What? Oh, you. That's it. Okay. I gotta find some more power nodes. How many do I have? Can I check? I have one power node. Audio log. Hello? Listen. Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Am I going to go down there? Why is that a... Wait. I know you. Your parents are picked up in the colony. Crap. You killed that nurse. Help. Somebody help me. Please. Please. Thank you for the pulse rounds. Okay, that was not good. Science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. Oh, it's this guy. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker, but the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet-side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions. And we need them quickly. Hmm. This must be the morgue. I remember what happened here. Yep. Right. I'll pick those up. I'll pick that up later so we can read. But uh, for now, we gotta murder the uh, captain. Or, I guess, re-murder him? Yep, yep, shut up, shut up, shut up! That does a lot of damage! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! in half.
Jesus. Not a good way to go. Let's try that again, but with less sucking. Here we go. And... Yeah! You. No. Take the wing off, or whatever the freak that is. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the heck Bruh. happened to this ship. Sounds good. Oh. That's a, uh... That's beheading right there. Okay, well, get through with the glass, Isaac. Get through. There we go. It's here. More credits. Power node. Hallelujah. And there are these messages scattered all around the Ishimura. I'll, um, I'll translate on screen what this says, because I've actually got the means to translate it. This text log, so let's take a read now that we're not trying to, you know, that we're not being murdered. Medical log, Dr. Domus G, medical examiner, report on death of ship subject, Captain Matthias B. It is my sad duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of his exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted, and beyond the scope of my role, I can only report on the body. The subject was in generally good health for his age, though a cursory blood test indicated his leukocyte count was very low. With eo eosinophilus, is that how you pronounce it? In particular, almost non-existent. His pre-flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset. However, it is unlikely that this had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and the hands, indicating a brief struggle pre-mortem. Slight contusion around the ribcage, suggesting his chest was restrained in some way. The cause of death was a single, prolonged trauma to the ocular cavity, which continued on through the cavity wall and finally into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and death. Force required to puncture the ocular cavity in this manner is great, and the possibility of self infliction correspondingly low. And therefore, I have no alternative but to record preliminary verdict, a preliminary verdict of unlawful death, whether deliberate or accidental, is beyond my jurisdiction. Let's see. Okay, well, I'm not seeing anything else that we can grab, so let's just head on out. These idiots again. What the? Oh. Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Okay, good. Lifting executive lockdown now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection, it's some form of alien life. We've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Great. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Sounds good. Sounds like my strong suit. Isaac is an engineer after all. Come back to the bench. All right. Let's get this all taken care of first. Need more health. That is a must. Next, capacity is going to be so useful. Plasma cutter. It's all right for now. But look at that. We got 75 rounds in it. Should be good for a while. Where did the body go, and why are there still maggots falling from an invisible body? That is one thing I will never know. 
Okay, but we are on our way to here. Chapter 2 Intensive Care completed. Oh, yeah. Save progress? Absolutely. Here we are. You oh, two problems, lead. and we're working on borrowed time here. Oh, boy. First, there's no fuel in the engines. Second, the gravity oh, centrifuge great. is offline, which means there's a couple of trillion tons of rock pulling us down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. Sounds good. Well, one thing that Dead Space gets right is the weight of some of this stuff. A couple trillion tons? That's pretty much nothing in space terms. Oh, you've got an audio log there. Personal awesome. log. Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. It's been two days since they pulled that planet open, since the captain died. Okay. The panic, the riots, they were nothing compared with what came after. Our friends, our co-workers started coming back. Changed, coming back to kill us, drag us away. Rucker disappeared this morning and I have to assume he's dead. My crew, mm. they're starting to crack. I'm trying to keep an eye on them, but right now I have bigger problems. We're hemorrhaging fuel, and the primary engine is laboring. Danvers and I are going to try to reach the fuel depot to see if we can fix it. Temple out. Oh, boy. So, these people weren't having a good time. Is there anything else around? Anything at all? I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode of Dead Space here. Did I ever mention at all how much I freaking love this game. It is such a good game. It's to think that this game is 13 years old at this point is just amazing and it still holds up like the graphics and everything they still hold up so freaking well. I mean I, I love it. This was on this was a uh, Who the frick is whispering in my ear? Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every single time I upload a new video. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see all of you in the very next video. Peace out, yo!